DJI firmware update 1.3.0 for the DJI Mini 2. There has been some comments mentioned about this update affecting problems with lag with the smart controller and it's just not performing well and then the actual mini 2 people are stating there's now signal issues you can't get more than 400 meters there is a signal and connection problems so is this actually the case or not we're going to test this out today and i'm killing two birds with one stone i'm also testing the pgy tech nd filters don't they look cool in that red i do love the color of these so a really bright harsh daylight today so it's going to be interesting how they perform if you are liking these filters i'll put them in the description as well so the area i'm going to be flying in i fly here a lot so i know this area at like the back of my hand so if there's going to be problems with this signal i'm going to know about it instantly so let's get taken off now i'm going to test it into three different directions as well and just show you how this performs I also thought wishful thinkly that the latest firmware update affected and helped out with that gimbal horizon line but as you can see it's way off so not for me anyway i know some of you guys have commented saying that it actually has helped you so that's fantastic um but not me but ne never mind i'm not i'm not too bitter about that it's all right let's go on and if you want to change it it's under control then you go to gimbal calibration click on manual and then you can actually just adjust it yourself something which i have to do uh daily all right let's get on with this so this area Area, I know this really well so people are saying I've seen some titles saying 400 meters is the max range you're getting out of it so let's just fast forward this up a little bit and then we're going to test it in this direction first of all now I've flown this area so many times so as you can see now we're over 400 meters and that signal has dropped one bar and now it's back up to full strength so for me going in this direction now I'm having no problems whatsoever with this signal it is important to note that make sure you're flying an area they've flown at before if you're flying in a different area there are multiple reasons why that signal could be dropping out or not performing as well and it probably isn't down to the actual firmware updates this area I've flown out loads of times before so if it was going to affect this when I got to 400 meters I would know about it and it's not so you know Know, maybe it's true maybe not but let's test this and in a different direction as well so if you're going to be flying out over sea make sure it's crucial that you check that wind direction before you set off flying don't obviously set off over and then go oh god which way is the wind going why is it not coming back so let's get going and just look at that horizon line that's horrific but i'm just not going to keep changing this throughout the video that's just how it is and let's just continue so we're going to be flying out now to again round about 500 meter mark we're approaching 400 meters and we'll just have a look and see if it drops out but just by looking in that top right hand corner i've still got full bars at as just how i normally do in this area nothing has changed so i really don't understand this i know a couple of comments i've seen and i've seen you know some mention of it in forums but you, you you can't always take everything on face value sometimes people might have an issue with that and that the location they're flying in and straight away oh my god it's a firmware that's affected this and most of the time it's not you know it's a location it could be that there's a lot of interference in that area for one thing or another but for me so far two out of three tests no problem so let's go this way now so we're going to go in the opposite direction as well and see what it's like this way and just in the distance up there there is a radar tower as well so normally when i got just around that corner that's when it would start to cut out anyway so if it gets to around about the 40 meter mark and it starts cutting out then that's a problem if it goes further than that then it's absolutely fine but i do notice an issue coming up which i haven't had before now it could be a one-off it could be because it's windy but watch what happens now as i'm flying over this promenade now just look and you see look at that shake on that gimbal there now as i'm actually going to just descend slightly here again there's another dramatic shake and it actually pans down now this is not in sports mode this is in normal mode so there's no reason for that to happen and it doesn't happen over sea right in that direction of the wind so that's really bizarre and that hasn't happened before so there was some gimbal shake there I'm rotating the gimbal here to see if there is any stuttering, any judders or any problems whatsoever with this gimbal as well in this firmware. It should be really apparent now as we're actually moving that gimbal over these rocks to see if there's any shudder or judder, there's nothing. So make sure if you are getting this that you are using a U3 or a class 10 memory card as well. If you're not using an old memory card, it's not going to be good. All right, FEV mode, I showcased this as well, but this would also affect that gimbal. So if we're going to be getting some shake, we should get more more here and let's just see if we get any connections or disconnection problems here as we're actually kind of abusing this drone from side to side so the fpv mode is 
great you know i really think it's a lot of fun now on this mini 2 it's obviously not as good as the air 2s and that, that's understandable but if you properly um, push it to the left or to the right hand side you can get almost like a bit of a mini barrel roll it's it's great it does look so much better than it did before before it was just you know pretty terrible to be fair but now it's a lot of fun so find an open space and just go and practice and get used to it so the movements aren't too jerky you know i'm still no expert at this i'm obviously trying to perfect this but i think you can get some pretty cool shots out of it um and it's definitely one now to to actually go and have fun with in sports mode i would say in normal mode that fpv isn't the best still so put it into sports mode and you're gonna have a lot of fun so there you go so overall this signal i have had no problems you know i'm on ios i can't really see the ios and android uh, battle having any effect on it but for me no signal problems whatsoever over 400 meters no problems so i, I won't take everything on face value but go and test it let me know if you have had any signal problems are you on ios you're on android let me know or is it all sorted i'll know a few of you who have let me know from the question i asked today that you've had no problems whatsoever and i hope many of you aren't having problems but take care guys i hope that actually answers some of them questions which have been put out today and i'll see you all very soon Bye bye